Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. What? Oh, that's funny. Uh, it looks like it's a bit of a, a slight change uh, from what we talked about in the planning. Let me just check your mail. All right, so I just paused and checked out what you were writing. So what I would do, so basically the idea was that he steps to the side and then the legs come in to open the door. But now we have that exit. So what I'm seeing, the first thing I'm seeing here, just visually, we're very low. This is kind of like your half in the shot and everything somewhat happens in there besides maybe this crossing over. But so if this is the case, right, we only have this. Framing wise, I will go closer and then you can easily just cut this off like that. You don't need to see the top part here. And we are just a bit more within the action. Ends up being a bit more in the thirds, upper thirds, lower thirds. Uh, we don't need that extra space there. The tricky thing though is I will probably, since we only have those arms. What I'm seeing right now, like you have some kind of exaggerated moving holds or almost drifts in your animation where it kind of goes from this to some fairly fast not zippy but you know good move but then it turns into a bit of a slow motion move through all of this if i look at the rotation and the translate up into that the other thing too is that we're only working with arms watch out where your breakdowns are not overlapping where the, f the fist and the hand is not in front of the forearm or up arm to that point so to me it's almost like you can start here and even this i would probably rotate this whole thing in a bit more to see more of the forearm than the hand and then the flower and the flower could be it's almost like tilted towards where it wants to go but avoiding that tangent there and then the question is why are you making a fist here is that to indicate that okay I'm nervous, this is like a date thing, and I'm gonna bring up the courage. Let's go, go tensing up before, all right. Or is that just an anticipation because you're making a fist to do this here? So I'd be careful how you want this to read. Because if it's just a fist to get to this, I will keep the hand more like that up until around here-ish. And then you just get into a fist because that's the fist here. I do like the idea though of communicating like, okay, let's go. But then I will bring up the shoulders a bit. It's almost like you want to visualize uh, the body as well here. And then not that you have to do all kinds of sidesteps and stuff like that, but I would still think in terms of shoulders and and if you want to go, by the way, again, if this is like a tensing up and maybe, you know, shoulders up, we understand as like, like an inhale, exhale, and then let's do this. Once you go into that, I'd be careful. This is really fast in terms of that arm move. This is a precious object. This is a gift to whoever is in here. So moving this really fast, I would see those pedals flying around and I should probably at this point change color so you can see anything in front of that white wall there. But to me, at that speed, those flowers, they'll be dragging and then flying off. It would destroy that flower. So to me, I would keep that up and almost like have a, imagine almost a bit of a sidestep. I mean, here I am saying sidestep. And then, but can keeping the flower up here. And now it's almost like making way. Let me take a sidestep here to really focus on this. If that makes sense. Because the tricky thing here, since we're just pantomiming, because you're not forever is watching this. They're not going to be adding body or legs or anything. That's the whole gag and the idea of I'm only animating this and only animating this. I would still go in terms of imagine it's there for structure. Because that is going to help you to get away from this locked ball here in screen space. That's That makes it feel just a bit weird where this is so locked in here. So, but you let me know if that's, because you had some specific ideas about this. So you let me know, just email me, uh, what your thoughts are in terms of how far you want to take this and then in what way. Because again, I would bring in shoulder shrugs. I would add in a little bit of a sidestep, like a perceived implied sidestep. 
to then also give this almost the broader silhouette like that ball could be then here and you can still do this when you do stuff like that i would still involve the forearm a bit more just a bit so it doesn't feel so um i say dislocated even though it's a dislocated shoulder but i don't know that's like the term that i use when it's so separated and then look at the the knocking right it's one two three and then you have again that that slow drifty hold into that so i would look at i like that you bring it in threes it's good rhythm when you do things in threes versus twos or fours but then i would go ba -ba -ba as a one two three where you have a bit of a, a change instead of one two three it's one two three just give this a bit more of a timing contrast for that but then the thing too is that i like this here i like this is more the idea of involving shoulders so i would bring in this into what you have at the beginning and this could be again bringing the idea of if you do that perceived sidestep then you can come back into the middle of all right i'm going to stand straight and then do this but then i would almost actually almost go a bit more to the right but you know that's nice i like this but here again we're losing the forearm with the uh, upper arm in the in the in the way there so i would find a way and again i would probably bring the shoulder lower and then maybe bring this higher just so it's visually perceived up and low up is higher more important it's like what are you going to read into this but anything that will bring this out in a way to give this more space to show i have a flower here for you and then we have that and i wonder because <clears throat> all right now that this is gone I wonder if at the end there will be a bit of a, a bit of a, a exhale, shoulder down, lowering that arm a bit, slight droop in the flower. You're like, oh, the you know the date is not answering. Just to kind of bring it back to this. And that's what I have for that. I would say for now. The other one, you are talking about clamping this down. I'm just curious how this happens. Um, just let me know. I can help you with the process there, but. Uh, unless these are just, you know, here's a key and you hit spline and these, that's your spline bump. But let's make sure these are actual IK legs. Just curious what your process is there. Because it still slides around everywhere. So make sure these are IK legs. Just let me know. Just email me. Let me know what you're, how you do this. And then I would look at how can we make this a bit more interesting. So watch out. A, you have this feels like it needs to come out like that. But then you have legs out low already where they kind of slide over and then they pop up where it feels like this is probably how you wanted it to start the door opens and then it just comes down i would still probably do something where i would shorten this wall so that's how that's the wall that's the thing so that you have a bit more of an arc to play with it's not just a straight down and then it feels just a bit normal in terms of it's landing like there's there's no offset there and i'm saying offset just because you are talking about this where it's fairly polished so if this is more towards the end of how far you want to go with this i would still think in terms of offsets um locking down a feet like you said but then here's the thing so you still have to think in terms of there needs to be a side to side weight shift hips if you do this the hips are going to go up this way all the way will be on this you can potentially straighten this i would just play around with a bit more focused body mechanics of this just because there are legs and there's nothing else up here doesn't mean you should kind of ignore the weight shifty aspect and the hip aspect of what's going on here right now personality wise like this is cute especially this i like that just watch out how you have just to come back quickly you have this thing of everything is moving and then everything stops and that's kind of the last thing that just kind of moves it feels a bit straight as like an ik arm I'll give this a bit of a, a, a overall settle. So it's not just move, stop, and this is the last thing that moves. Just gonna throw that out there. But but it has personality. There's something to like, all right, let's go. It's kind of cute. I think you can play around a bit with the with the jumpiness and the kind of like the bounciness of the shoulders. And again, imagine the character is there and gets on its tippy toes. Like, all right, it's gonna little hop up, up and down. Just kind of again, imagining visually what this character looks like. 
and then play around in your head like how would this character move and just try to showcase this all through this but we're not but but and do this for this character as well this character doesn't have any personality it's just kind of down turn and off but is this character kind of really freaking out wants to avoid the date is it sliding and you know lots of scrambling in the legs and out is it jumping down and then tippy toying off i don't want it to hear that i'm that i'm escaping here like what is how far do you want to go with this in terms of personality and how we're supposed to perceive this here so i would before you focus on the mechanics where i would definitely you know like like you said to lock down this and ik legs and no crazy sliding around here i would look at how can we give this the same amount of character that you gave this and i'm going to leave it at that you got some other questions, but these are workshop questions and I will reply to these in the email via text. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.